Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote, and this is a shock flow Tesla Level 2 to J1772 adapter. It's important to note that this will not work at any Tesla Level 3 or supercharger because those things don't exist. This only works with Level 2 Tesla EVSEs. The main use for this is at hotels or parking garages or the movie theater that have Tesla destination chargers but not J1772 chargers. The other use case for this is if you have a Tesla EVSE installed in your house, maybe you have a Tesla or you used to have a Tesla and then you get a non-Tesla EV, this makes it possible for you to use that Tesla EVSE with your non-Tesla. So you can share that without getting another one. This adapter supports 48 amps at 250 volts or up to 250 volts. I think it's a good idea to get an adapter that matches your car's maximum charging speed on a level two charger. This is a Ford Mustang Mach-E. The maximum it will do is 48 amps. So this is the perfect adapter for this car and it is the perfect adapter for most EVs as well. There are EVs that will charge at a faster rate than 48 amps or about 11 something kilowatts. Uh, in those cases, you probably want to get something that will go higher or be very, very careful about where you plug it in. Most Tesla destination chargers or level two chargers that you're going to find out in places like this are going to do in the six to nine kilowatt range. This is a nine kilowatt charger, so 40 amps. So it's on the higher end of what you can, what you normally find. Um, it's one of the reasons why I came here to test it out was so that I could get good thermal images of the adapter after charging at, at a higher charging speed than you would find in most places. I'm going to put some thermal images around here. I see no problems with it. It works really well. For reference, it's about 58 degrees Fahrenheit, so maybe 16, 17 degrees Celsius. The quality of this device is really, really high. It just feels very solid, very well made. Um, there's a latching mechanism on the bottom here that holds the Tesla plug in and a standard uh, latching mechanism for the J1772 adapter. The only complaint that I have around this is that there isn't a padlock hole, so there's no way to lock this into your car. There is a potential that somebody could walk off with it if your car doesn't latch the um, charge port while it's charging. This car does not. Uh, we have also have a Kia EV6. It does. So it'd be much safer to use this with an EV6 than it would be to use this with my Mach-E. There is an official compatibility list, which includes the Mach-E and, and the Kia EV6, as well as pretty much every car that is on the market right now. If there is a car that is not on that list, I suspect it will work anyway because J1772 is a standard. Uh, it should just work. Let's talk about how to use this. Let me go grab the uh, Tesla plug. So as I mentioned, there's a latching mechanism on the bottom here. Basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is plug that in and then slide the latch down, which locks it into place so this, the Tesla plug isn't going to come out of the uh, adapter. You're going to want to wait at least 30 seconds and then you can just plug it into the car. <laughs> ah, whatever. Did I mention it's windy today? What's going to happen now is it's just going to negotiate with the car and then it's going to start charging and hopefully you can see that this is kind of turned blue down there. Uh, that means the car is charging. I had charged the car with this before starting to shoot the video and there were no issues. So I can say that this works and it works really well. I should point out that Shockflow did provide this adapter as a review unit. They have not paid for my opinion or the content of this video in any way. These are all my opinions and the results are what they are. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get to them as soon as I can.